Sup guys, here we are in a new video. On this video, I'm going to tell you and show you what I experienced after buying the MacBook Pro. There are a lot of things I experienced. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to give you a short example right now. After buying a camera then, you know the camera only take pictures and videos. You just discovered or experienced a new feature that you can also connect it to your phone to listen to music with the camera. It's also a bus booster, I mean an MP3. That's very amazing feature. Then, boom, you can make a video on that. So this is what I experienced, what I never expected to see on the MacBook. Without further ado, let's get started. First, what I experienced is the charging plug. The charging plug look exactly like the iPad but much bigger if you could remember this a sample of the iPad one and this a sample of the MacBook. They look alike and secondly on the charging plug I realized these two plastic doors of which you can open and close but I don't know what it's meant for. If you know what it's meant for I'll advise you to comment below so that I can know what it's meant for. So the next thing I discovered from the top where you can plug the MacBook Pro there's a short metal of which is made of metal I'm sure and it shows a dot of green when the macbook pro is fully charged or the macbook i don't know and when charging it shows orange or red i'm sure it's orange not red so that was the very first thing i experienced because you know after buying a device that requests to be charged you have to charge it that's what i noticed first on the charging plug the second thing i noticed is that when opening the macbook we have a little gap there of which is made for us to put our finger to open it comfortably because if there is no gap there it will be kind of slippery you can't open it except for those having our long nails and then the next thing the small button at the side of which i don't know what this does but then gradually i understand that it helps you show the percentage of the mark while it's in sleep mode you don't have to open the mark to see the percentage every time you can just tap on that button boom it shows you the percentage and that's a very good thing then the next thing is this is a very small thing experience after tapping the caps lock it shows a green dot which indicates that the caps lock is in use and that's a very good feature because you might forget you have on the caps lock by mistake or something so that helps indicate that the caps lock is on when typing the next thing about the apple logo the piece of the apple logo at the back of the mark that helps shows light if you are in dim environment and that's a very good thing everybody likes that but what you don't know is that you can increase the brightness of the apple logo by simply increasing the brightness of your screen that helps the apple logo goes much brighter i just experienced this after trying it okay let's just give it a try increase and it increases and decrease it decreases it works so go try that like the first day i bought this device i just noticed one thing when it's asleep mode just notice some white blinks which i don't know what that is meant for but gradually i understand when you are using the map that doesn't show but if it's a sleep mode i'm in rest mode it shows so that's to indicate it's a rest mode not shut down so gotta check that oh yeah i know this kind of red but i just thought of buying the magic mouse and the magic keyboard made by apple then i just realized the wireless keyboard i'm having here just work like the magic keyboard so no need for buying the magic keyboard if you don't have enough money you gotta buy the wireless keyboard just like this one it works exactly like the magic keyboard and it connects to the macbook pro so that's all i experienced for now and i'll make another video if i experience working on the macbook pro so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe meet you guys on the next one yes